from Wes Magyar. Thank you for being a patron, Wes. Appreciate that. Appreciate your support. I fly at my club field on occasion. Everybody there is using DJI, and occasionally I want to fly my analog drone. As soon as they power up, my video craps out. I'm using right-hand antennas, but no matter what I've tried, I can't really fly my quad. Is there anything I can do? Okay. I want to talk about the problem of DJI pilots and analog pilots stomping on each other. And the first thing I want to say is that anybody can stomp on anybody. I, uh, there are a lot of salty analog pilots out there who are annoyed that DJI pilots are stomping on them. And there is something about the DJI system that is unique. That means that DJI pilots can be unintentionally inconsiderate. But everybody needs to think about this. Everybody needs to be aware of this. Because unlike a technology like Wi-Fi, do you ever notice that like nobody's Wi-Fi ever stomps on anybody else's Wi-Fi? Like if your neighbor has Wi-Fi and you have Wi-Fi, then in some ways they could like they could reduce the bandwidth that you get. That's true. If you have two Wi-Fi radio networks and they're on the same channel and one's, one person's like downloading a bunch of files, they'll make your Wi-Fi slower. But it, there's never a case where like your Wi-Fi is getting like stomped on. Is it? I mean, is that the same thing? You don't, you oftentimes don't even notice because it usually just keeps working. But these, these protocols are not polite in the way that Wi-Fi is. They're not designed to interoperate with each other in the way that Wi-Fi is. Um, so analog can stomp DJI, DJI can stomp analog. Here is why those DJI pilots are stomping you. The DJI goggles also transmit. Normally with analog goggles, we don't think of the goggle location as being relevant. The pilots can stand wherever they want to stand. And with analog, the only problem is if you take a quadcopter and you move it close to the pilot. And then the transmitter on the quadcopter interferes with the receivers in the goggles. Okay? So the typical situation is that somebody comes over and they land right at their feet. Or they come over and they stand right next to you and they plug in. And their quadcopter blasts you and you, you lose video and you crash and then you, you know, go punch him in the back of the head. Um, with DJI, though, the goggles also transmit. And that means that if you, an analog pilot, normally you'll have all the pilots just clustered up standing next to each other. And if you, an analog pilot, go stand next to a DJI pilot, their goggles will be blasting you, which is not something that a lot of people are aware of or expect. So if you are a DJI pilot and you are flying with a group of analog pilots, the polite thing to do is that you must go stand, go stand far away. You're in timeout. <laughs> because you are gonna stomp them. And that is the price of having, of having such good video. Oh, he's so good, isn't it? You don't even want to stand next to those analog pilots, do you? Ooh, with their, with their standard definition video. What if it got on you? So you are going to go stand 15, 20, 30 feet away. Like, I'm not joking about the distance. And then, then you're not going to be blasting them. The other thing that the DJI pilots should do as a courtesy is turn down to 25 megabits per second and turn down to 200 milliwatts because the higher, here's the thing. Um, let me look up this channel chart. That's going to be super helpful. No, not that one. This one, no, not that one, this one. So if we look at this chart, thank you, Oscar Leong. Um, Notice that the 50 megabit per second channels take up more space than the 25 megabit ch per second channels, okay? So if you've got somebody and they're flying analog on race band two, then you could theoretically power up on DJI one or DJI three. But if you're powering up with 50 meg channels, you're gonna take more space. Ch DJI Channel 2 is going to kind of stomp a little bit on Race Band 3. They're going to overlap a little. Now, Wes Magyar says, it doesn't matter what channel I'm on. 
Okay, so here's the thing. Um, if you are on channel, let's say, let's say, let's go back to this chart. Let's say that you're on race band one, okay? And there's a DJI pilot on uh, channel two, 50 megabit per second. Those channels are very far apart. They should not overlap. But the thing is, if the goggles get close enough to the analog pilot, they will overlap. Because this signal doesn't just stop right here. It just gets quieter and quieter and quieter and quieter and quieter. Okay? So there is always off-band transmission. And if you get, if the signal gets strong enough, it will overfear, interfere, even if you're on a different channel. Okay? So the first thing to do is DJI pilots turn down to 200 milliwatts. Oh, you'll get less range. Too bad. The second thing to do is DJI pilots turn down to 25 megabits per second. And the third thing to do is space out your channels. So DJI pilots are up on uh, DJI channel 3 or DJI channel 7 are the highest ones. And then analog pilots are down on like 1, 3, and 5. And then the last thing to do is that the analog and the DJI pilots cannot stand near each other. And DJI pilots, you shouldn't stand near each other either. DJI pilots should always stand far away from anyone else who is flying. And that, that is sort of a summary of what to do. Um, the other thing, Wes, is if the DJI guys are at 1,200 milliwatts, that's going to make everything worse. Okay? That's going to make everything worse. So. FAMG FPV. Now, FAMG FPV says you can use 700 milliwatts. And personally, like, in my experience, I've flown with analog people where if you were at 1200 milliwatts and 50 megabits per second up on race eight and they were down at race one it was fine so this is it's all there's no hard line here like i would bet you that if i was on race eight and you were on race one and we got close enough together yeah i could manage to get some interference 